Love and hate are fundamental forces of existence, but in reality, there is only one force, the force of life. To deny one of these forces of existence is to deny the true nature of life. Take note of the attraction and repulsion of the electron and proton, the forces of magnetism, etc. Now imagine a world where there was only attraction but no repulsion. Nothing would ever move. Without opposing forces, there would be no life. Does that mean that we should be hateful randomly? No, it means that hate is a tool, like anger is a tool. We use both positivity and negativity. We synthesize the polarities. Forget everything that you know about love and hate, even the words themselves, and all the baggage and judgments that come along with them. Look at love as simply a unifying function and hate as a separating function and the force of life as the interplay and movement of unification and separation. To use only the unifying force is false enlightenment, and to deny the force of life, which is both of these. True enlightenment is to synthesize the fundamental forces of life and utilize them in healthy ways. Love is a unifying function, while hate is a separating function. True enlightenment is about using the unifying function to create a healthy society, but also wielding the force of separation and being not afraid to hate violence, sexism, racism, and homophobia. We are given hate as a separating function, and that's all it is. It's our tool, and we must use this separating function to be able to remove violence, sexism, and homophobia so that we are free to utilize the unifying function to create a healthy society. We use the unifying function to cultivate all these healthy attributes and the separating function to remove that which is cancerous and eating at the health and growth of our society. There is nothing intrinsically wrong with separation and unification. There are two aspects of the one force of life, like shadow and light, creation and destruction. Using them incorrectly, sub-optimally, in an unenlightened, unwise, unhealthy way, is when the problems arise. One must synthesize and utilize both polarities in a healthy way guided by the violet crown of reason and the highest wisdom. So many falsely enlightened New Agers talk about unifying light and dark and that we should utilize all the aspects of reality. But do they? No, they're hypocrites. They call themselves light workers and ignore the shadow. They say one thing, but then they do the exact opposite. Do they stand up to the hateful Abrahamic religions? No, they accept them, and by doing so, they're aiding the propagation of sexism, racism, homophobia, and the mental child abuse that these religions contain. Albert Einstein said, the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Those that only profess love and light are the ones that stand by and watch all the evil in the world and do nothing about it. Hyperions are both the light and the dark. We use all the forces that nature has given us because we are nature. We are those forces. We are the force of life. By denying one aspect of nature, we deny ourselves and life itself. We are not life deniers. We are life affirmers, and we wield all the forces at our disposal. But do we do so randomly and without care? Of course not. True synthesized enlightenment is about using all these forces according to the highest wisdom, to use them wisely, to create a beautiful world in which we can live, love, and learn together. Eventually, we will create a world in which the hateful are absent, 
But in order to do that, we must stand up to hate now and call it for what it is, or else we'll be dragged down into a world of complete, utter, and total hatred. The philosopher Karl Popper pointed out a critically important fact in his Paradox of Tolerance. Tolerating the intolerant leads to intolerance. In other words, if you love hate, hate will not go away. Hate will spread like a cancer and consume the world and crush all those that love. A cancer must be cut out and removed. Understanding this is true enlightenment. Now some may say, but if you love those that hate, then they'll learn to love too. Now, this is complete bullshit and a misunderstanding of how reality works. You're assuming that everyone thinks the way you do and that everyone is at the same level of awareness that you are. All eternal minds are at different levels of evolution and growth. The hateful minds of neo-Nazis, terrorists, and school shooters are extremely unevolved minds. They are not at the level of understanding and awareness capable of embracing unity. They are too primitive and consumed by an influx of their own internal hatred. If you love a neo-Nazi, they aren't going to suddenly start painting rainbows and picking flowers. They're going to kill everyone that stands in their path until the world is consumed by their hatred. It's only by standing up to these vile minds, by realizing that they're an unevolved cancer eating away at this planet, that we'll finally be able to create a healthy, unified world in which people aren't killing each other and we'll finally have the freedom to love. There is only one force, the force of life. And to become enlightened, you must understand this and utilize both aspects of life in the appropriate way. It's time to embrace both the positive and negative polarities, to embrace the force of both unification and separation, creation and destruction, shadow and light, to become synthesized according to the highest wisdom. This is the way to true enlightenment. This is the way to becoming a world shaper. This is the way to becoming a god or goddess. What you truly are is a world shaper, and we are in desperate need of world shapers to build a new world. The rich elite don't want you to know what you are, and so they hide your true nature from you. This is why they must be removed. They spread the lie that to be enlightened, you must love everyone no matter what, because the rich elite know that if you believe this bullshit, that you'll never stand up to them. If you want to build a new house on a firm, stable foundation, you must remove all the rotting wood that's already there or else your new house will collapse. The vile Abrahamic religions that have done so much damage, that teach so much hatred and division, this disgusting patriarchal society that oppresses women, and the rich elite controllers that keep you as a slave unaware of your true purpose and power, are the rotting wood that must be removed so that we can have a healthy foundation on which we can finally build a new world. Love and hate are reflections of the one universal force of life. Love contains the seed of hate. Those that love their family more than any other holds within it the seed of hate. And hate can contain the seed of love because those that hate sexism, racism, and homophobia create a path to a world in which love is possible. It's time to look at these for what they truly are, functions of unification and separation that are two aspects of one force, the force of life. They're simply tools, and using either of them incorrectly and unwisely will result in disaster. Universal love is the goal. That's what we want to achieve. That's what we want to create. But we can't get there now because there are too many unevolved and hateful minds blocking our path. The Latin phrase lux ex tenebris means from darkness, light. We must use the forces of darkness and destruction to finally be able to create a loving world of light. It's time to become truly enlightened by embracing all the forces of life, synthesizing the positive and the negative, the light and the shadow, 
according to wisdom. It's time to stop sitting around and being a do-nothing light worker half person. Instead, it's time to become a fully actualized and synthesized being of both light and shadow. Only then will you become whole and on the path to evolution to godhood. So stand up, embrace your power, realize yourself now as a world shaper. It's time to show the vile controllers of this world, the oppressive Abrahamic religions, and the damaging patriarchy that we aren't going to take it anymore. Embrace both creation and destruction. Become a shaper. This is our world, and their unevolved hatred has no place in it. They have been oppressing us throughout the ages, but no longer. They don't want you to embrace your shadow, your power because they fear you. Well, to hell with them. We will reclaim our power, and their intolerance and their hatred will be eradicated by our shadow. Only then will we finally be free to live in the light. My name is Morg, and you're witnessing the dawn of the Hyperion Age. Ad Astra, to the stars. Make sure that you like and subscribe and check out my Patreon for hidden videos. You're not coming into contact with them. You're coming into contact with yourself. We are all gateways for another world to enter this one. If you enjoy my videos, join us on Patreon. That's how I'm able to continue my work. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone on Patreon. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. And it means the world to me, my friends.